What's up guys, KidMarin95 here bringing you another episode. In today's episode guys, we got another ICO review here. Uh, this is Blockport here. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, ICO this... Blah, blah, blah. Today's ICO is Blockport here, which is the first ever social exchange. But before we dive into that guys, let's uh, take a look at the market really quick. Market cap currently sitting at $579 billion. Bitcoin dominance sitting at 34%. Today's volume $33 billion. Uh, Bitcoin currently up almost 2% for the day, Ethereum up a percent, Ripple down almost 4% there, Litecoin up half a percent, NEM up 2, IOTA down 2, EOS up 7, Monero up 15, wow, uh, Bitcoin gold up almost 7, Icon up 8, Lisk up 1, VeChain up 7, Zcash up 6, Verge down almost 8, Sia coin down almost 8, Finance up five, Stratus up three. So it looks like an okay day here. Oh look, zero X up almost twelve percent there. Augur up almost twenty. What else? What else is on our watch list? Arc up one, Loop Ring up twenty one, Golem up seven, Z Bite down four. So it looks like most of our coins are doing okay here, guys. Really quick. So Blockport, guys. This is. The first ever social exchange based on um, hybrid decentralized architecture and basically this um, coin or this ICO is um, basically really really focusing on the user friendly list, uh, social trading and being able to build a, um, a knowledge sharing community. Um, so but like you start looking at its white paper guys and all I have to say is here's a screenshot of their, of their, uh, their dashboard. All I have to say is watch out coinbase watch out so this is what it's what it's basically going to be guys is a decentralized um coinbase but it's going to be even better because they're incorporating uh social trading and then the knowledge sharing community so basically what social trading is is you're going to be able to uh, see other traders and copy uh, what they're doing and profit just as much or not as just as much you know depending on their account size and your account size they'll do the math for you uh but that's going to be incorporated into this uh, platform and so is the knowledge sharing community, which is, you know, where uh, people are basically being paid uh, to share their crypto knowledge, you know, or their knowledge here on their platform. So that's pretty cool. Um, so when is this going to be happening, guys? Well, if we go ahead and take a look at their website here, uh, we have about four days, 13 hours and 26 minutes. Uh, but I actually wrote down when their, their sell, um, all the other little token participation here. Give me a second. So the pre-sale started January 3rd. And it's going to last two weeks or basically until the market cap is reached. So we, we have four days left here. The second sell, which is going to be the public sell, which is one that um, everyone's available to participate in, is January 24th. And with the first sell and the second sell, which happens in um, four days here, 71.4% um, of all block pork tokens are going to be sold and accessible to everyone. So the other remaining percent um, is what is left to be minted. Um, but 14.3% is reserved for the team, 10% reserved for the company shop, and 4.3% is reserved for the community services and any third-party bonus allocations. So that's basically going to be like the knowledge sharing community, uh, where you know people are paid to share their knowledge here on their platform. Uh, but let's go ahead and take actually before we take a look at their website here, let's go ahead and look at Bitcoin really quick, guys. Bitcoin looks like we are uh, consolidating here for a bit, still bouncing or hanging around. Uh, 10,900, 11,000. Uh, looks like we could possibly, you know, be heading towards the upside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the four hour here. So, yeah, if, you know, it looks like we have a nice little triangle forming, actually. Oops, sorry, wrong line. I see a nice little double bottom here. So, it looks like we could have a possible nice little triangle forming. Um, could see a nice little possible breakout towards the upside, or who knows, maybe even the downside. The daily doesn't show any uh, any signs of continuing down. We just have a lot of wicks here, so it looks like we did find support. So I am expecting a push towards the upside, but um, who knows? You know, the technicals show that we might just make it up to 13,000 here, but who knows? The bull run might, you know, a lot of people might just hop on the train and it might push it even further. But we'll go ahead and, you know, wait and see how that happens. Ethereum here kind of behaving the same. We go ahead and take a look at the four hour earlier like right before i was about to do this video um these coins look very very bearish but after i let these candles close um definitely looks like we could possibly you know be breaking up i'm not even gonna draw that um we could possibly be you know 
breaking towards the upside. Looks like we have a nice little uptrend here. However, we did uh, fail to form a higher high, but we do have a nice little double bottom. We'll get it. We're gonna have to wait and see how this candle closes here. If we do close above 1,100, I believe we'll have another push towards the upside. What do I, uh, did I say what, what I expect for Bitcoin? If we see a push above 11,750, I believe that's going to be a nice, uh, a, a push above that and a close, sorry. Um, should be a nice push towards the upside. And I'm expecting the same here from Litecoin. Litecoin kind of behaving the same way as uh, Bitcoin here. But we're going to have to go ahead and uh, wait and see. What we could uh, possibly see is actually Litecoin come down and shoot up. But um, Litecoin's only, only going to do this if Bitcoin does this. I don't. It doesn't look like they're going to do this. It looks like these coins could just possibly shoot towards the upside and just continue their uh, normal bullish trend. But we're going to have to wait and see how uh, price action plays out here. I'm expecting a push towards the upside. looks like um, most of these coins have done their corrections and... I think they're just ready for their, their second leg of their run here. But let's go ahead and take a look at our ICO's website here. Blockport, we got a home, FAQ, token sale, bounty. First social crypto exchange based on hybrid decentralized architecture. So check it out, guys. This is their dashboard for their website, and this is the dashboard for the mobile uh, application here. Um, hmm, you know, wh what does it look like? It looks very, very, very similar to, well, you know, Coinbase. So this is basically going to be the decentralized Coinbase, but even better, uh, you know, as you can see here, you know, you can see traders that you're uh, following and you're linked to and how much your account has grown. And then the mobile application here is just kind of showing you the coins and uh, their percent value and how much they've gone up, your total portfolio value and the gain since last month. So their mission, their mission is the complex crypto space makes it difficult for beginners to start trading. Current platforms impose high barriers to entry because they often like usability, transparency, and education. As a result, many people are discouraged to adopt the crypto economy. So um, Coinbase, in my opinion, was basically the easiest way for most people, um, you know, Coinbase GDAX, specifically Coinbase, the mobile application, um, was the easiest way for most people to get their cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Um, so, you know, this is, I feel like, obviously, in, in my head, you know, if it was already a good idea, now if you can make it decentralized, now it's a better idea, you know, like, so I definitely see this uh, ICO taking off here, but let's see what, let's go ahead and continue reading. Mission, we are building a user-friendly crypto exchange that combines social trading with hybrid decentralized architecture to help people safety or safely trade crypto assets. We bridge the gap between crypto economy and traditional world of finance to shift towards a digital and decentralized society. This is why I feel like they're better than Coinbase because they have the social trading with a hybrid decentralized architecture. Well, not even that, but just the, the, the social trading, which I feel like is pretty cool. Um, I mean, you know, maybe Coinbase might integrate that into their software or into their application uh, further down the year from, you know, maybe some, some time down the road. I don't think so, but um, it's kind of cool that right off the bat, Blockport has this. So this is how it works. Basically, you know, you can enter in your debit card, uh, credit card, whatever it is. Works exactly just like Coinbase, guys, except it's decentralized um, and has a lot of other a lot of other services such as the social trading and the knowledge uh, center. Follow experienced traders and copy their moves. Learn from experienced traders on the Blockport platform. Browse through the list of available traders. Check their risk indicators. Follow follow or copy their trading activities. Once you are confident enough, you can start trading yourself and earn Blockport tokens as a reward when other members follow you. Cool. So you see. Uh, once you become an experienced trader, you can actually earn tokens by having people follow you. Trade on multiple exchanges or trading platforms connected with multiple crypto exchanges. This allows you to benefit from different markets in a single dashboard. Nice. You own the private keys. Their plan here, guys. So this is the roadmap. Q3 uh, 2017, start of Blockport. So Q, this, so just this last uh, quarter here, the Blockport white paper. Private pre-sale, which is what's currently going on here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the Blockport crowd sales, which is uh, currently going on here. So, I'm um, sorry. Private launch is what's going to happen over here in a couple, four days and 13 hours. So, the launch of the crowd sale on the 24th, this round will last 36 days and is only accessible for participants who have completed the whitelisting process on our website. <clears throat> so, if you guys are looking to participate, make sure you guys go ahead and, and sign up through the whitelisting. Uh, quarter one here, which is in March, beta release. 
launch of the uh, Blockport beta version, members can buy, sell, and store Bitcoin, Ethereum. Additionally, the knowledge sharing platform will be launched and we will start the research and development that is needed for the hybrid decentralized architecture of Blockport 3.0. 3.0, I believe, is the, the last beta release before the full release. Uh, let's go ahead and keep continuing through the timeline here. Blockport 1, uh, 1.04 1 release. So in this period, we will release the full Blockport and Blockport 2.0 beta version. Oh, cool, cool. All right. So they're going to release the full 1.0 version and the beta 2.0. This means that we will enable users to test our following copy features and and the ability to trade on our multiple exchanges. Wow! So this is actually going to be happening pretty quick here. So this is in March. So right after. So this is probably going to be happening like in, I want to say April or May. They're going to be. Uh, you're going to be able to follow other uh, cryptocurrency uh, traders. Which, oh, excuse me. I'll probably create an account with them here and have uh, you know you guys be able to follow me because I know some of you guys aren't able to watch these videos all the time. So it'd be a lot easier for someone just to kind of do the work for you, you know, where I'm just kind of staring at my computer all day. But that's just me. Uh, <laughs> Blogport 2.0 for release, Q3 uh, 2018. So, and then the, at the end of 2018, we got the uh, Blogport 3.0 beta release. However, right as soon as 2019 starts, we have the Blogport 3.0 for release. So in a year, they uh, are looking to go from beta to uh, 3.0 upgrade all the way. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, Blockport Blockport 3.0 will be fully released for all members, supporting most popular cryptocurrencies and tokens. So expect that in a year. So check out their partnerships here, guys. Osborne Clark, they got Arc, Lumen Solutions. We like sharing knowledge. Why build with Blockport? Introducing social trading, our bounty program. They got the team here, the founder, the founder, chief technology, chief design. Who's on their advisors? Lars Renting from ARC. John, John Joanne's De Jong. I don't even know if I said that wrong or said that correct. Oh, Joanne's De Jong. Jeffrey Dorenstein, Digital Marketing X Google. Apply for our crowd. So, guys, if you guys are looking to participate here, go ahead and click that link and apply. That's pretty much it for their uh, website here. If you guys want to look at their white paper, that's what I do. I, um, I take a look at their white paper before I. That, the, the information I spit at you guys is basically the white paper. Um, token sale, let's see. I think this is basically just going to show us like how it's all divided. Oh, what is BPT? How can you use it? Social trading, discounted trading fees. So it's going to basically kind of be like, you know, Binance and uh, KuCoins. So if you trade with uh, BPT, which is the Blockport token, um, your, the fees will be reduced, which is pretty cool. Token sale details. Here we go. Total uh, token supply, which is 69 uh, million. Total token supply, which is going to be, you know, in the two sales, is the 49.6 million, 71.4 percent. Uh, crowd sale target, uh, 15,000 Ethereum. Oh, really? 15,000. Pre-sale target, uh, 1,600. Pre-sale target finish. Pre-sale end. Crowd sale starts the 24th. Trading reserves, 50 percent. Development 14, operations 10, marketing 16, legal 9. More white paper, guys. If you guys want to take a look at that, I recommend you do. But that's pretty much it for this ICO review, guys. I, I believe this is a, a good one here. This is probably just as good as the last one. If you guys haven't seen that one, uh, I'll probably go ahead and post the, the, the video somewhere in like this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner. Uh, but, you know, I'll pick one. Um, but the last one was basically just like a decentralized Airbnb. This is going to be this decentralized Coinbase, but even better, it has social trading and the knowledge sharing community, which you're able to, uh, you're actually going to be rewarded for. So I'll probably be looking to participate in this one. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.